are. They're going to respect us. Right yes, now, they don't. They got no respect for the buttons on the front of this jersey or the CC on the side of this helmet. They got no respect. Our turf right here. You got 30 minutes to get ready. Remember, it starts from the opening kickoff. Yes, when kick, yes, we're kickoff, we're going to be our best. This game wrap is presented by Smash Mouth Football Fight for the win and by San Antonio Masonry and Steel. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that red subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage that TV and radio refuse to cover. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fun, it's free, and it's safe for the environment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. An interesting intersectional matchup in San Antonio as San Antonio Alamo Heights plays host to San Antonio Central Catholic. It's TAPS against UIL. Both teams come in with a record of 2-0. Both teams have more than five prospects aside that are Division I recruits that will be playing on Saturdays over the next couple of years. This is just the second game for Orem Stadium after it was closed last year for remodeling and it's only the second home game for head coach Ron Ritterman after he coached his rookie year pretty much over at Comalander Stadium where he coached a lot of the games when he was the head coach at San Antonio Johnson. How the matchup play out? Who's going to 3-0? Hey, let's check out all the action. Of course, who would get an A for effort? A's would be the theme of the game. There's Braden Flowers. He has an A in his first name. His cousin Trey is the outstanding Seattle Seahawks defensive back who once upon a time played at Converse Judson. And there's Central Catholic head coach Mike Santiago. He has a couple of A's in his name. He was the first ever head football coach in UIW football history. James Sobey would definitely factor into the game and not just because he has an A in his first name. First play of the game, Sobey pass over the middle to Rhett Anderson. Anderson, of course, starts with A. He beat the cover, too, and that would be a theme of the contest. 45-yard pass play down to the button, 24. A few plays later, Sobey on another play-action fake. This time heads into the end zone, 7 nothing mules just like that. Buttons, though, would respond. Jonah Dunlap, who has a couple of A's in his name, had two big runs on the opening drive, the second for 10 yards, and the game-tying score for Central Catholic. Student section enjoyed that, but they would not enjoy the ensuing kickoff. Bo Kleberg, who has an A in his first name, returned it 68 yards down inside the Central 15. Fans making sure our videographer, Juliet Bunsen, doesn't lose the ball carrier. That led to a Sobe touchdown pass, which would be one theme the night 14-7 mules. The other theme of the night was missed Central Catholic opportunities. Quarterback Silas Gomez pass tipped in the end zone and picked off by Jack Hardees for the touchback. Of course, he has a couple of A's in his name as well. I was on my guy. He ran a fade, turned my hips, saw him running a slant. Ball tipped, ran straight for the ball, died for it, and was lucky enough to catch it. Early second quarter, Sobey lobbed for Anderson in the same end zone. Nice catch for the junior, 21-7 Alamo Heights. Inside leverage, ran outside, kind of ran up. James, James had another great ball, put it up, and I just went up and grabbed it. The other key moment of the game came a little bit later in the quarter. Mules up 21-14. A bad snap rolled up Sobey's arm right into Carlos Pena's hands, and he returned the object for the game-tying defensive score. Hold on, though. Flags down. Block in the back on the return. The touchdown wiped out. Central would end up punting away the ball. Coaches always tell us adversity is always going to hit, and that was, the, that was our play. I just told the huddle, we all we all got together, we learned, we said uh, it's going to happen, we just got to get back and that's what we did. Third quarter central driving into Alma Heights territory, watch Cody Burke number 24, even though he doesn't have any A's in his name, just watch. He ran untouched into the backfield and sacked Gomez for a huge loss to end the drive. Then Sobey and Anderson had more fun, again just watch. One-handed catch for the score. Technically one wrist, one elbow, one arm, but you get the drift. 28-14 at that point, Ron Ritterman asking his receiver how he caught it, and so did we. One hand, obvious, I, I didn't know what was going on. I just kind of reached out there, got it, and was in the end zone. First play of the fourth quarter, Sobey to Anderson one more time behind the defense for another long touchdown. Oh, let's go, Rams! Let's go, Rams! Yeah. A 
hey, hello to you too. The corner's a little outside. James Toby threw a great ball. Made him turn his hips outside, flipped his hips. On to the inside, touchdown. So be 263 passing yards and four touchdowns, 205 and three of the four to Anderson. Alma Heights wins the battle of schools with lots of A's in their name, 35-20. We went through a lot of adversity last year as well, not having a stadium with COVID, with everything, and I'm really proud of our team for everything that we've done and overcome. Last year really set a fire on us. We, we had a great season, one district undefeated, and we got this whole new stadium. It's crazy, it's awesome. Everybody comes out to the games all the time. It's, it's super good atmosphere, it's awesome. Central Catholic will be a big factor in taps this season, while Alma Heights football looking scary similar to the 2006 state title team. Reporting from Old San Antonio, I'm Greg Sherman.